everyone and welcome back to the breakdown today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to start a server in Minecraft 1.13 but first off this isn't a 24 hour server so if you want a 24 hour server I would recommend going to the first link down below that's gonna be the breakdown.xyz slash MC server that's gonna take you over to game servers where you can get an awesome 24 hour server for just one dollar per month it's DDoS protected we use them for all of our servers for just twelve dollars a year guys like that's less than a meal at a restaurant you can get an awesome server that you and your friends can play on anytime you can give it out to anybody things like that if you don't want a server that's 24 hours you only want a server that's up when your computer is running and that you can only give to your friends guys you do not want to post the IP address of the server we're gonna make in this video out there to everyone you just don't want to do it it's not gonna end well because this is going to be hosted on your own internet. Meaning if someone gets this IP address that you don't trust, they could DDoS your internet, take your internet down, basically slow it down a lot, and even possibly find out where you live. So just keep that in mind. If you want to give this server out to anybody, you're going to need something from game servers, like the one at the first link down below, a 24-hour server. But if you just want a server for you and your friends and family to play on, this video is going to work. So let's go ahead and get on into it. First off, we need to go to the second link down below. It's going to take you here, which is our website on how to download and install Minecraft on a PC. Then you want to scroll down and click on the download button right here. As you can see, it's also the Minecraft server file. So we click on the download button. Takes us off to Minecraft.net here where we want to find Play With Your Friends. You see that? See that Play With Your Friends? We want to click on Set Up Your Own Minecraft Server here. It's going to take us over to this where we then want to click on the download Minecraft underscore server dot one dot thirteen dot jar. So when we click on that, it will download the server right down here. Now, if we minimize our browser, it should be here on our desktop. I actually need to keep this file as well. I promise it's safe, guys. It's from Minecraft's official website here. So we know 100% that this is safe. So if we go ahead and minimize this, we have our server, right? It's what it's called. It's called server. Now, if this isn't on your desktop, don't freak out. Hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. That will open up the run application where you then just want to type in downloads, hit enter, and it will be here on your downloads folder. Drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. Once this is on your desktop here, we want to right click, create a new folder, and you can title this folder whatever you want, but it's going to house your server. So I'm just going to title this Minecraft 1.13 server. And then we want to take our server file we downloaded here and drag that in to Minecraft 1.13 server. Once we've done that, open this up and double click on server, right? It should automatically run. If it doesn't, don't freak out. Just right click on it, open with, right? So we're right clicking on this server. You're going to go open with Java TM Platform SC Binary. But Nick, I don't have Java TM Platform SC. What do I do? Don't freak out. Just go download the Java SDK. That's going to be your third link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Java. Go over there, download that, come back here, and you'll have Java Platform SC Binary. You should actually at that point just be able to double click on this and it'll work. Once you've double clicked on it though, it'll load some stuff like this and you should have this EULA document. Go ahead and open that up. It should just open in Notepad. And then you want to go right here and uh, read this EULA. Make sure it's good. Make sure it's working. I have read it before this tutorial. I know this server is not going to violate the EULA, but make sure yours isn't. Once you've read that, come down here and change this to EULA equals true. And then go ahead and click on File and Save. I'd always do it twice just for good measure. Then you can close out of this notepad window and double click on server yet again. All right, when we double click on server this time, it's gonna go ahead and it might take a little while longer, but it's gonna go ahead and open this up, log into our world, create everything, do all of that stuff. Now, this is a server that if someone is on your own internet connection, right, say they're in your own house, they can literally go onto Minecraft, type in localhost, all one word into the IP, and it will launch into this server. But I don't know about you, but I don't have my friend living in my house. He lives down the road. So because of that, I need him to be able to log in from his house. And that's what we're going to do now. So once you see that done right there, see that it says done. Once you see that, come in here and type stop STOP exactly like that and hit enter. Boom. There we go. Now we want to come over and 
click the Windows key on our keyboard and R at the exact same time, yet again, right? That's gonna open up this run program. Then this time we wanna type in CMD, exactly like that, and hit enter. It should open up the command prompt. Once we're in here, we wanna type in IP, C-O-N, F-I-G, and hit enter. If this doesn't work for you, let's say it doesn't let you type in IP config, no worries. Come up here and click on your, your Windows icon, the top or left for me, probably in the bottom left for you. It's gonna open up this. This time, you just wanna type in CMD yet again, and then you'll see the Command Prompt app, except right-click on it and run it as an administrator. Then, same thing, type in IP, C-O-N, F-I-G, IP config, all one word, and it will open up this. From here, we're looking for two numbers. Two numbers are gonna be used here, the IPv4 address and the default gateway. First thing we're gonna use is the default gateway. So once you've found this here, 192.168.1.1, that's mine, it's possibly yours too, but yours could be different. Once you've found it, come up to your internet browser, open up a new tab, just like this on Google, just a brand new tab. And then in the uh, website bar up here, the address bar type, 192.168.1.1 and hit enter. It's going to open up a page that looks exactly or most likely completely different than this, but it will probably have a login box on it, right? So once you've typed your default gateway into here, you'll see something like this. It might be a login box that just pops down from the top, but you'll probably need to log in. Well, where do you find this login information? Well, we have an article for that, and that's gonna be, I think, the fourth link in the description down below. The, these tutorials require a lot of links. I kind of get confused, but they're in chronological order down there. But nevertheless, this is how to find your router's password. So if you come down through here, you'll be able to see like all the different methods we have, you know, resetting the password and everything like that. So once you reset your router and try the default info, that's gonna take you here, where you can you know, enter your manufacturer and try to find their default password. But most of the time, once you get through all five of these methods, you will have logged in to your router. For me, it's as easy as uh, clicking sign in here because I've got a password manager and all of that stuff. So there we go, that is done. We are now signed in to our router once it loads. Once we're here, we are looking for port forwarding, port forwarding slash port triggering, apps and gaming. For me, what I'm looking for is in connectivity apps and gaming, right? So connectivity, and then we're gonna do, sorry, not connectivity. See, this is the thing, it's been a while, guys. Connectivity is not where I wanna go. I wanna go to security, right? And then go to apps and gaming, right? So for you, it might be an advanced, it might be an advanced advanced, it might be a security advanced, it might just be port forwarding labeled on the side of your router over here, right? Every router is different. I know on Netgear, it's typically in the advanced tab. You know, TP-Link is, is the same, like TP-Link routers are typically in the advanced tab. Some of them do have a security tab and that might be where it's at. For me, it's in security and then it's under apps and gaming. But once you get here, you're looking for port forwarding. Now, as you can see, single port forwarding is what we're going to be going with, right? Now, you might not have a thing called single port forwarding. That's fine, just find where it says port forwarding. Once you're there, I need to add a new single port forward. You might not need to do that. For the name of the port forward, I just always title it Minecraft. So for your external port, right? That could be your external port. It doesn't matter what the ports say, guys. By the way, both of these, right? Whether it's your external port, your internal port, whether it's your, you know, port one, port range one, whatever it says, right? It's going to be the same for both of them. So 25565 and then 25565, right? That's what you need to put in both of these, 25565 and 25565. Simple, simple stuff, guys. Don't overcomplicate it. Once you find port forwarding, you're most of the way there. Just for both of the ports that are available, do 25565 and 25565. Now, what does matter is protocol. So for me, I have both. You might have TCP slash UDP, UDP slash TCP. Basically, you wanna make sure both of these protocols are selected. If for whatever reason your router doesn't have that, it should. But if for whatever reason it doesn't, don't freak out about it. Just go and do this two times, right? Do it once for TCP, add another port forward with the same ports, everything exactly the same, and then do it again for UDP. However, most of you are gonna have a TCP slash UDP option or a both option. I'm gonna go with both for device IP, right? We're gonna come back over here to command prompt 
and this is where our IPv4 address is going to be used, right? So for me, that's 192.168.1.123. Yours might be different than that, and it probably is, but that is perfectly okay, guys. So I'm going to come over here, 192.168.1.123. Pretty simple stuff. I'm going to double check that. Boom. Now I'm going to click save, click apply, and now the port forward is set up on our router. Click OK there. And now we can minimize our browser here and we are going to need to look at this. So here we are. I want to go ahead and open up the server properties file. You should be able to double click on it. It might make you select something to open it with. If it does, just select notepad. We all have notepad on our computers, so it's an easy one to use. Then you want to scroll down here until it says server IP. See that? For server IP, we want to just do equals, and then we want to enter in right over here, again, our IPv4 address, right? Right there. So it's going to be 192.168.1.123. Boom. So we've entered that over there. We can double check, make sure that is correct, and it is. And then go ahead and click file, save on that and you can close out of this. I will also say there's a lot of stuff that you can change here about your server. You want to make a creative server? Change that right there. You want to do, you know, like higher difficulty? Change that there. Turn off mobs? You can do that. All sorts of stuff can be changed in here, so look down through that if you want to make some additional changes to your server, but you need to add in the IP address for things to work. Go ahead, close out of this, and now we can go ahead and launch our server right here. Boom. While that's launching, and by the way, to launch your server, just double click on where it says server. Once, while that's launching up, I wanted to show you guys this. This is also linked in the description down below. This is our guide to port forwarding, right? So it shows you everything you want to do, and, and we actually go through here and show you everything you need to do for port forwarding. It's a pretty simple four-step process, and uh, some people, it's, it's a lot easier to use a you know, text tutorial, I get that. And if that's the case, here it is for you. But um, yeah, what you're looking for here, guys, is just port forwarding, port triggering, something like that, or apps and gaming, and uh, you'll be good to go. So like it is for me in here, apps and gaming. It's not loading, taking a second, but anyway, you get the point. So here's our Minecraft server. It is now done, as we can see right there. Once it says done, we can actually go ahead and op ourselves, right? So that's going to make us an admin of the server. So to do that, type OP and then the username that you use for Minecraft. So I'm going to do OP Nix Games, right like that. Now, um, you might use, you know, it's going to be your username. So whatever that is there, enter that there and you'll be good. Now we just need to open up Minecraft. Guys, the server is created. It's up and running, right? So if we launch into 1.13 here, there's two ways to test your server. I'm going to show you the way that you can join your server and only you can join your server and then I'm going to show you how your friends can join your server. You should also be able to join your server off of that method by the way. So once we're in here we can go into multiplayer and see this is wanting to allow the server to access the internet, right? So what does that mean? What does that mean? Well basically this is a server that's accessing the internet and it needs the firewall to be okay with it, right? It needs to let it through the firewall in order to let people join your server. Most of the issues that people have with servers, if their port forwards are correct, it is a firewall messing with it. Either our Windows firewall right here like this, or it is the uh, firewall on your router, right? Your router is going to have firewalls in it. As you can see right here, this is my router's firewall. And if all these were turned on and set up and everything, it would be blocking people connecting to the Minecraft server. So that is something to keep in mind there. I'm going to go ahead and click allow access on that. And then now we can minimize this. I'm going to go ahead, direct connect to our IP address here. So we're going to do IPv4 first. Only you will be able to join off of your IPv4 address. So for me, that was 192.168.1.123. Only you will be able to join off of this IP, but it's a quick and easy way to see if your server is in fact up and running. And as we can see right up there, Players Nix Games has joined. Awesome. So we know the server is working for us. We know it's up and running. We know things like that are good, right? It's great. We should also be opt, so we should be able to go like game mode one, right? And okay, they've changed the command. Game mode C. There, what? Game mode creative? They've changed the commands. I'm not used to that. Anyway, so um, yeah, we can see here we are in 
Minecraft in our server. But how do your friends join? I don't know about you, but servers are not fun without friends. So how does that happen? How do your friends join? Well, it's pretty simple. You just need to go to Google, right? So go to you can just go to Google.com, and then when you're here, just type in two letters, IP. Now, for you, this is a black box, right? There's a black box over here. The only thing you can see is the last two letters, which just so happens to be 0 0.2, right? So those are all the letters you can see or all the numbers you can see because I don't want to give you my IP address. Again, you shouldn't give your IP address out to everyone. They're going to be able to DDoS you. They're going to be able to find where you live. There's all sorts of risk in giving your IP address out. But if you're going to just uh, give this to your friends and family, things like that, you'll be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this IP address right here and then come over into Minecraft and direct connect to our IP address. Again, all you can see is the last two numbers, 0 0.2, but that's just so you know it's the same IP address. I'm also going to go ahead and pull up this, our Minecraft server, so you guys can see that. If we go ahead and click join the server, boom, joins us right back into the server. Nick's game's at the top. And we have now joined off of our public IP. That public IP address that we just joined off of, that's what you're going to give your friends and family to join this server. And guys, congratulations. You now have a Minecraft server set up. If this isn't what you're looking for, if you want a 24-hour server, if this was really difficult for you, it is literally a few clicks to set up a 24-hour Minecraft server over on game servers, and it's super affordable. Less than a meal at a restaurant can get you a year of Minecraft server hosting. But anyway, guys, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out, guys. Wait, what? Be sure to like and subscribe as well. What? What was I doing? Doing an outro before asking you to like and subscribe? No, no, no. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to this channel if it have helped you out. We have tons of new awesome Minecraft videos on the way every single day of the week. Again, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out, guys. Peace.